Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by Lavalley Building Supply, where, Jeremy, you did the math during the break. The Royals outscored Fall Mountain, what was it, 19-4 to in the third quarter? I had my shoes and socks off, but I did the math. <laughs> and by my count, it was 19-4 to in that third quarter. So quite a run there by Fall Mountain, and 11 of those 19 by Alex Schwartz to add to his total. Now he has 18 for the game. And there are a couple takeaways from that as the nice short jumper there, number 30, Bailey Cody, gets the fall. But for both teams, that's got to be an absurdly frustrating thing for Coach Bargus after seeing his team play so well over the first two quarters. And then for someone like Coach Barry on the other side, he's looking at it like, wow, my team just listened to my halftime speech. They're executing. Why can't they do this all season long? I right, mean, yeah. <laughs> they're playing well right now, so... Kudos to them and see if they can hold on here in the fourth quarter. But as you mentioned before we went there at the end of the third, the, the, it's a game of runs, and, and if Fall Mountain can get on a run here, they bring it right back into a one-possession game. Uh, no shot clock in high school, obviously, so that does hurt the Wildcats a little. Good offensive board by Bushway. Just a reminder to watch YCN News every weekday at 7 and 10 p.m. on YCN, your local view. Also, YCN's outside television on Comcast HD, channel 713 or channel 21 for all the outdoor adventures you love. Interesting play there by Bushway. He drove to the hoop, he drew some contact. The ref didn't blow the whistle very quickly, so I don't know if he thought he was going to get a travel. He just kind of tossed the ball. It ended up being a foul, but because he didn't, she wasn't a shooting foul. It stayed ball mountain ball, and they're not able to convert. And Murdoch doing the best he could to try to Reel in that offensive rebound, but Mascoma did a good job defending it, and Mascoma's going to call a timeout. And just like that, that body language, once again, that's a pumped-up team over there in purple. So we'll take this timeout, too, from our YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by LaValle Building Supply, where it's the visiting Mascoma Royals who are nursing a seven-point lead with six and a half minutes to go here in the final quarter, looking for that second win of the season. Well, Fall Mountain desperately trying to pick up that first win after an 0-5 start to the year. And Bushway bringing the ball up the court for the Wildcats. Kicks it off to Murdoch. Murdoch puts up the three. And the crowd lets you know that that didn't touch any rim. I don't like that shot by Murdoch. I know earlier in the game he was hot. He did have eight points in that second quarter. But uh, when you're down by seven points, you've got plenty of time left. There's no point in taking a shot off of one pass. Look for some penetration. Look for a dribble drive and get something done. As Jacob Bargus comes away with the steal, foul called. So he's going to inbound the ball from his half of the court. It's going to be Bushway. Wildcats coming up with a couple nice defensive stops. Now they just need to start turning it over and turning it into some points, getting Bushway involved underneath. And a nice pass down low. That's going to draw the foul and send Bailey Cody the line for two. So some big free throws. I mean, it's a seven-point lead, Jeremy. It feels like more than that, the way these last few minutes have gone. But if Bailey can knock down these two free throws, you know, this is this game can still be anybody's. Yeah, you're right. It does feel like a little bit more just because they went on such a big run. So although they're only down seven, you've got to remember, they they scored four points to, to Mascoma's 19. And he knocks down both just like that. So we got a five-point game here with five minutes, 40 seconds to go. This is anybody's game. Yeah, Alex Schwartz can can make or miss a couple shots, and just like that, it can be an eight, nine, 10 point lead. But we've seen Bushway and Murdoch, they can get it done for Fall Mountain on their offensive end. Schwartz a little long on that three pointer attempt. The handle lost, but Murdoch there to pick it up and a lot of contact. A lot of contact right there near mid court, no whistle. And then finally a whistle there. That foul is going to be on Schwartz. So finally a little bit of emotion from the Fall Mountain bench as you see him cheering on that foul call. One thing I noticed there, as Murdoch is, you know, being swarmed by the Mascoma defense, no one's coming to help out. So he's looking around, and he's trying to get somebody open, and there's two players for Fall Mountain that are on kind of the out, outside, you know, near the out-of-bounds line, and no one's coming to help. And, hearing and, and you, you can't have that. And hearing you say that, that truly kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, is finding a way to win. This is a team that's relied so heavily on the play of Bushway 
and uh, excuse me, Murdoch. You know, they almost they get the ball into the hands of their star player and they watch in big eyes. Okay, you know, what can you do for me? Get the ball in Murdoch. What can you do for me? Whereas, like you said, he's a marked man by that Mascoma defense. He's gonna see that trap defense. You gotta look to help him out and bail him out. And, w and with that being said, uh, Murdoch and Bushway, they're getting more of the focus, and that leads to Bailey Cody, who has six points now in the fourth quarter. As Wilson with a steal, and he's fouled on the layup attempt, so he's going to go for, to the line for two, and he has a chance to cut the deficit to just one point. So after all that in the third quarter, with Mascoma putting up 19 points, Mascoma is right, or excuse me, Fall Mountain is right back in this thing. Just got to have some good defense, and uh, that's what Fall Mountain has had so far in this fourth quarter, not allowing any points through the first three and a half minutes. Now, is that going to continue? No, but you got almost half the quarter done, and you haven't given up a basket. Oh, that free throw in and out. Just a reminder to tune in every week for the River Valley and Kearsarge Chronicles for the who, what, where, and when shows of the region. They premiere at 7.30 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday right here on YCN, your local view. So Schwartz with the ball now for the Royals. Approaching four minutes to go in the game and a three-point lead for the visiting team. A nice power move. And he's going to draw the foul, much to the delight of the handful of Mascoma fans who made their way to the gym to the den, as they call it here at Fall Mountain. Good effort by Schwartz. He had come up empty on the last few possessions, so this time he decided, I'm just going to take it to the hole and see what they're going to give me. And he gets to the free throw line. So Schwartz, we've seen him hit from almost everywhere in the court, unable to knock down that free throw. Not a lot of free throw attempts for the Royals, by my count. This is only their fourth one. And he does get that to fall, so the lead now up to four points for Mascoma. Murdoch with it now for the Wildcats. Nice pass down low. See if he can make the most of it. Ranger, or excuse me, yeah, Ranger Wilson a little long. And now you see Coach Barry telling his players to slow it down a little bit. And Duhaime, oh, he's hit a couple three-pointers today, but can't get that to fall and Bushway with the board. And plenty of time left. Three and a half minutes to go. Bushway with the ball. Don't know if he needs to go in that hard and that hot. That's an interesting call, Jeremy. I watch a lot of NBA basketball and that's not being called to travel. But that said, Mascoma is going to take a timeout and we'll take the timeout too from our YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by La Valley Building Supply. I'm Mike Pizzone, joined by Jeremy Stout. And Jeremy, we're going to be in for a good final three and a half minutes here. Four-point game here at the Den. Yeah, Wildcats have made some nice stops in this fourth quarter, only giving up the one free throw to Alex Schwartz. And they've answered on the offensive end, led by Bailey Cody, who has six in the fourth quarter alone to add to his total and make it ten for the game. Good hands there by Fall Mountain. Wow. <laughs> I was going to call it a turnover, but it took a little while for that to play out. But it is going to be Fall Mountain ball. And Jeremy, you talked about it a lot in the third quarter specifically. If you're going to get the turnover, you got to make the most of it. And you'd imagine Fall Mountain needs to make something happen right now. Right, because at some point, with no shot clock, as we mentioned in the high school game, you're going to start running out of possessions. Not to say that the free throw shooting has been anything special, but you are going to have to start putting them to the line at some point. It's still plenty of time. But you're right. They really need to start uh, making some baskets. And good defensive play by the Royals, making things hard on Murdoch. As Bushway now in the paint with the ball, trying to get himself some space, but just a relentless defensive effort by Mastoma and Murdoch gets that floater to the fall. So a two-point game with two and a half to play. Play some good defense here by Fall Mountain and, and they know that they're going to run, a, look at that, they're running a high screen for Alex Schwartz right off the bat, but he's covered by two guys. Uh, that's Murdoch and, and Bushway. And then Murdoch coming up with a steal. Big steal. Can he finish? He gets the foul and the basket. Ryan Murdoch making a case for himself as the HR club, Kearsarge Heating Oil, turning up the heat player of the game. And right now we get a tie ball game pending this free throw attempt. So Murdoch putting this team on his shoulders. 
And I don't know if it was the players on the court or if it was, you know, Coach Barry, exactly what happened, but I think they kind of started going to Schwartz a little too much. You saw that high screen. You know, right when he brings the ball over the timeline, the guy comes down. That's pretty easy to defend. So Murdoch, two minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, gives the Wildcats the lead again after a dismal third quarter. Wow, we're in for a good final two minutes. Schwartz front rims that one, but gets his own rebound. That's what you can't have if you're Fall Mountain. Unfortunately, Schwartz not able to make him pay. And now nothing's falling for Schwartz after he got pretty hot in the third quarter. He's paying for it now in the fourth. So we talked about not having a shot clock, Jeremy. We're inside two minutes to go. Fall Mountain now has the one-point lead, and now they find themselves extending these possessions and, you know, not... Oh, bad turnover. Just as I'm saying that, they don't need to rush a shot. A bad turnover. And Mascoma is going to call a timeout to talk things over, and I imagine Bardis is going to talk things over as well and say, hey, be a little bit smarter here with the lead. So we'll take the break, too, from our YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by La Valley Building Supply. And Jeremy, what an interesting last three minutes so far. Fall Mountain battling back to a one-point lead, and a couple things you've noticed that kind of have helped in that effort. Yeah, it's been quite a turn of events as Alex Schwartz has completely gone cold from the field, hasn't made a field goal. He's 0 for 1 from the free from the free throw line. And on the other side, Bailey Cody with six points, and then Ryan Murdoch with five, including that last one, big three-point play to give Fall Mountain the one-point lead. So Mascoma fresh off the timeout as you see DeFord going hard to the hoop and he's gonna draw the foul. It's just not a smart foul by Fall Mountain. Although I'm not sure, is DeFord taking any free throw attempts so far today? I'm not sure what his he success. He has not been to the line at all. Yeah. So these will be his first two. So this could be telling. Before I say it's a bad foul, we'll see. What he can do from the line, can't get the first to fall. And I don't know, I mean, obviously it was a pretty good defensive play, just got a little too much. Maybe he got the hand and, you know, the hands part of the ball as, as he goes up. But he got a lot of ball there, but just might have gotten just enough. And we're going to get a lane violation on the shooter, so that's Fall Mountain ball. And the Fall Mountain student section is now on its feet. We got less than a minute and a half to go here. They're ready to see their team claim win number one on the season. And here's an interesting possession because they are in the bonus. There's a minute five to go with a one point lead. So you just have to not turn the ball over. You don't need to put it on the ground like Murdoch is there and, and drive. Just pass it around the perimeter. Bushway doesn't need to do anything special because Mascoma is really, the onus is on them to make something happen. Woo. And just as you say that, I thought that shot was a little bit, you know, wild to be taking in that scenario. But Bush White knocks it down and gives his team a big three-point lead with 40 seconds left. Schwartz with it now. Nice pass. Wow, what a look by Schwartz. Rounds the corner under a defender, gets that bounce pass to DeFord, and he's going to go to the line for one after converting the layup. So what a brilliant pass by Schwartz. And DeFord now with an opportunity to tie things up with 33 seconds to go. What a finish we're in store for. Wow, an interesting foul there at that point. If he's if he's penetrating that deep underneath the hoop you and you're going to give up the layup, just give up the layup. you got a three-point lead. Luckily, he missed the free throw, but they couldn't get the rebound. Stays Mascoma ball. And I can't reiterate enough. I mean, I thought for sure Shorts was going to go up, you know, have another nifty layup like he's been doing all night. But to have the eyes to get that pass off. And it looks like Coach Barry is looking for a timeout. And he's going to talk it over with his team. He's got a one-point deficit and 31 seconds on the clock. Jeremy, if you're Coach Barry, what are you doing in this situation? Are you, you know, using up the final 31 seconds for the shot to win it? No, I don't think you're going to do that. Uh, I would, I mean, I know, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to put, uh, if you don't make the, the basket, you're going to put Fall Mountain on the free throw line, and currently they're not shooting the lights out. Yeah, uh, Bailey Cody is is uh, two for two in the fourth quarter, but Ranger Wilson 0 for two. Uh, Murdoch, Murdoch's two for two on the night. Uh, Bushway, though, their big, big free throw shooter. He's two for three. So, 
it, it's not that Fall Mountain's automatic. So if, if I was Mascoma, I would want to extend the game. I mean, that's what you're always taught or always played, I would think, normally. Some coaches would rather say, hey, we're going to do or die. We're going to go down w one shot to win it. But I'd want to extend the game in this situation. Yep. I've always said it would be a lot of fun to be a high school coach at any sport. I would not want to be one of these two coaches right now. I would not want to be one of these two coaches. And let's talk about from your perspective, what do you do quickly if you're Fall Mountain where you have a couple fouls to give? You've only given you know, only three fouls. Yep. I, do, you, I, do you foul you know, five seconds in and then another five seconds in and just take some time off the clock? I'm waiting until that ball gets in 24's hands and I'm fouling him immediately based on what I've seen in his last three attempts, but I'm not putting Schwartz to the line. But I would get this rebound if I was Fall Mountain, and they don't. Wide open three-point attempt, and he banks it in. Number two, Dakota DeCock banks in the three-pointer and puts Fall Mountain in a two-point hole with 15 seconds left. I didn't hear him call glass. I don't know if you did, Jeremy, but it doesn't matter in the scorebook. Mascoma with a two-point lead and 15 seconds to go. Wow, what an interesting play there. Uh, good effort by DeFord on that last missed basket where he was scrapping for the rebound. I thought they might have been able to uh, call an over-the-back foul, but they didn't. So. so we'll take a quick break from our YCN Game of the Week, and when we come back, we'll have the final 15 seconds of this thriller. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by LaValle Building Supply, and we're in for an interesting final 15 seconds here as Fall Mountain set to inbound the ball, down by two. Fresh off a timeout, so let's see what Coach Bartis drew up. Almost didn't get the ball into Murdoch at all. Yeah, kind of an interesting play. Nobody from Fall Mountain was coming to the ball. Five seconds to go, deep three-pointer. Back rims it, and that's going to do it. As Schwartz dribbles it out, and Mascoma walks into the den, and they're going to leave with a dramatic 43-41 to 41 victory. So, Jeremy, with that, it is now time to unveil our HR Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the game. And I think you and I both know who it is in purple. It's got to be number five, right? Yeah, number five, Alex Schwartz leads the way for the Royals with 19 points on the evening. Had a little bit of a slow, slow fourth quarter, only making one point. But really, that third quarter is where the damage was done for Mascoma. As, as we mentioned, they outscored Fall Mountain 19 to 4. And that's when Schwartz really came alive with 11 points. So give him that uh, HR Club heating oil, turning up the heat, player of the game. And not to be forgotten, yes, those points were certainly huge. But that one assist there in the game's final minute, where he found DeFord under the basket for the layup and the foul, huge. So congratulations to Alex Schwartz on being named our HR Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil Turning Up the Heat Player of the Game. So stay tuned after the break for our post-game wrap-up from our YCN Game of the Week. I'm here with Coach Jim Barry after Mascoma's 43-41 victory over Fall Mountain, a big second win of the season for you guys. And Coach, talk about, first of all, the adjustment coming out of halftime. You guys outscored the Wildcats 19 to four, I believe, in the third quarter. Yeah. How big was that for you guys to get yourself back into the game? And yeah, we were playing uh, scared in the first half. We weren't driving the basketball against their zone. They're bigger than we were. You know, we have some small guys, young guys, and we started. We said, hey, we got to get some dribble penetration. Let's get inside the zone. If we go down, if we lose, let's go down playing our game. And our game is dribble penetration, kick, you know, kick out. And so we did. We were able to do that. And Alex Schwartz is a big reason. He was inside, you know, at the foul line most of the first half. We caught him out, put the ball in his hands. He's a natural point guard. We absolutely saw that. And uh, we were talking a lot up in the booth about, you know, learning how to win, finding ways to win the game. It, it, did a win like this kind of teach your guys what it takes to win, what you guys need to do down the stretch to get it? Yeah, well, Alex knows how to win, but he's our only guy with any varsity experience. He's leading by example, t teaching the other guys what it takes. Clearly, he missed some shots tonight, never puts his head down, doesn't look back, plays, you know, what's in, what's in front of him. And uh, so that's what some of our guys have to learn. They make a mistake, they have their head down, frustration foul, you know, laps on defense. Alex doesn't have any laps on defense. So he shows those guys by example. Not a real vocal leader, but clearly, you know, if you follow his example, uh, his actions, you're going to be successful on the court. And finally, touching on that point, a big win against Bo last week, another big win tonight. What is this going to do for the, team, the confidence of your team going forward? Uh, it, it can only help, especially on the road. Uh, getting a road win is always tough. and. Uh, 
yeah, I think I think this will help us a lot. We have a tough game Friday night against Interlakes, and hopefully we can carry this on. Our defense has been good all year. It's our ability to rebound. And, uh, you know, Jordan DeFord, again, didn't play much in the first half. When he came in the second half, that really, you know, we have a lot more control on the boards there. So if we can rebound, we can win games. Well, congratulations on a great win, Coach. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. That does it for our YCN Game of the Week, where it was the visiting Mascoma Royals coming away with a 43-41 victory over the Fall Mountain Wildcats.